Hey, what up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Tyler, and this boy's soccer highlight is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company. All of the 562 soccer coverage this season is sponsored by Beach Football Club, and all of our coverage of Long Beach Poly is sponsored by Juju Smith-Schuster and the Juju Foundation, along with Jayon Brown and Playfair Sports Management. Thanks to all of our sponsors, and welcome to 1600 Atlantic for the season opener for Long Beach Poly taking on Hart. Long Beach Poly, a little shorthanded for head coach Eric Leone, have a number of players, including several starters, working through eligibility as we start the new season. So uh, opportunity for some younger players and some backups to get in and show what they can do, taking on Hart, one of the top teams in Division Three. They are currently 1-1 one one on the year, so this is their third game. Jackrabbits get right to it in the first minute. Great interplay. Damian Gonzalez to Steve Marquez, who plays in Roberto Bermudez, who slots it home beautifully for the goal. What a brilliant start for the Jackrabbits here in the opening minute. A freshman to a junior, and then a sophomore would finish it off. Dream start for Polly as they're up 1 0. Polly generating quality chances. Marquez with the header on target right there. He played really well uh, in the center of the park. Just a ball winner in midfield. And he played with some flair as well. Has good size and skill for the Jackrabbits. And they remained on the front foot for much of that first half but were unable to put a second goal home. In the 17th minute, Hart getting a series of chances. Amir Diaz Espinoza forced into a double save here, which will set up a Hart corner kick. The senior looking solid back there between the sticks as usual, but off that set piece, he fends off a couple tries, but eventually the rebound would be forced home. The bouncing ball goes in for Braden Crucy, and that'll level the score at one apiece. Polly, meanwhile, looking for the answer the other way, Kevin Harahone and company just couldn't quite link up for that decisive final touch. Josh Cholico going to put a shot on target here, but things would remain tied 1-1 after the first 40 minutes. Now to the second half, Hart generating the chances. They had nine shots after halftime. Four of them were on frame as Diaz Espinosa had six saves on the night. Visitors starting to get a little frustrated as they clang the wrong woodwork right there. Meanwhile, the Jackrabbits, some tired legs, so their best chances came off set pieces in the second half. Goalkeeper Marco Gonzalez gobbles that one up. But Polly gets another chance with Zach Del Vecchio, who earns a foul right here. And a dangerous spot for Polly here in the final 10 minutes of regulation. Bermudez will serve it in. Josh Cholico sizes it up and he puts it in. Beautiful goal right there off the volley. A golazo for Cholico as Polly goes up 2 1 here in the 73rd minute. Uh, wasn't a ton of offense for Polly in that second half. Bermudez had the goal and the assist in this one. Jackrabbits just need to hold on. But back come the visitors. Three minutes later, getting a free kick in a dangerous area as Polly is going to pick up the first and only yellow card of the match for them. Now senior captain Trenton Rickard will line it up for Hart, and he unleashes a missile into the top corner. Whoop, what a strike. Diaz Espinosa said after the match, if I'm going to get beat, I'd rather have it be a strike like that. Unreal equalizer in the 76th minute. As you can see, <laughs> Hart is very fired up on that effort from Rickard. Um, yeah, that's one to uh, to remember for a while. And that's how things would end. The second half goal scorers show respect to one another as we finish in a 2-2 draw. I would say a pretty fair result and an encouraging performance for Polly with so many backups in this game. They will host Norwalk on Wednesday, hoping to have a more full complement of players. We got to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center, for their support of local sports coverage. And if you want to keep up with local soccer, you got to stay locked right here at the 562.org, your home for Long Beach sports.